Friday. I'm Malika Andrews, joined by Richard Jefferson. Yes, Richard. you are. <laughs> Yes, and how lucky we are to have you You're here welcome, America. with us. We do You're need welcome. to start, though, with the biggest story in the NBA today. Earlier this morning, video surfaced of the altercation between Graymon Green and Jordan Poole at Warriors practice. It was on Wednesday. The video, it shows Green stepping up to Poole, who reacts by shoving the Warriors veteran. And Green then punches Poole, knocking him down before several people at the practice intervene to break it up. You can see Green on your screen there. Uh, there was no video, though, that showed what led up to the incident. And yesterday, Warriors GM Bob Myers said that Draymond Green apologized to the Golden State Warriors on Thursday morning and is not expected back at the practice facility until tomorrow. So there was plenty of reaction on social media following the video surfacing. But first, let's get to our senior NBA insider, Adrian Wojnarowski, who is joining us now on the phone. Hello, Woj. Hey, Malika. So let's just start here, Woj. Are, are there any discussions about this now becoming the league's jurisdiction? And how does this video being made public, how does this incident change what, what's going to happen here? I'm like, Malika, there's no question that the video being made public, you know, complicates this scenario. And certainly yesterday, the Warriors made it clear that there was a punch thrown that uh, essentially people saw, you know, Draymond Green, you know, as responsible for escalating uh, what had started as uh, talking and then pushing, and that there were going to be repercussions, and, and that people within that organization, including their key players, were not happy about what happened. But when people see it on video, certainly um, it, it illuminates it in a different way. And I think from the league point of view, Malika, you know, you look back at the history of these kind of practice skirmishes, you know, go back to 2017, Nikola Miritich uh, getting hit uh, by Bobby Portis, and there was an injury suffered, which is not what happened with Jordan Poole, but Miritich suffered damage um, to his face, was out for an extended period of time. It was the Bulls who suspended Bobby Portis uh, multiple games mm. and I think typically the league would like to leave it to the teams to handle because these things do happen internally and I don't know that the league wants to go around policing uh, instances like this even if they do get on video and so I, I'm sure there's conversation going on between the league and the Warriors I do think in the end it'll be the Warriors that would make a decision uh, if there's going to be any further or or maybe uh, an elevated punishment for Draymond Green that maybe wasn't there yesterday before the video was public. Are the Warriors Woj, launching an internal investigation into how the video was actually leaked? Yeah, Malika, they're not launching an investigation. They launched an investigation immediately. Obviously, they are not happy that that video uh, got out of their uh, practice facility, and they're trying to figure out uh, where it came from and, and how it got out, whether that was somebody internally or whether that was somebody uh, listen, there are different people who sometimes have access to uh, a practice, and, and so they're trying to figure out um, how that got out, and obviously, you know, you would imagine if it is somebody internally in that organization, there would be severe repercussions. It is not always easy, though, to find the root of a leak like that. They, they may or may not be able to, but certainly uh, that's a, a, a priority for the Warriors now is to figure out how that video uh, got out and got on TMZ. Woj, thank you so much for your reporting here. There was plenty of reaction on social media, as I mentioned earlier, following this video surfacing. You can see Isaiah Thomas tweeted, all I'm saying is you ain't punching, you ain't responding with a punch if that's somebody you really rock with, especially after a push. But I ain't in the practice and I didn't hear what was being said, so I'm just going to leave that alone, but damn. And then Evan Fournier said, there is no way you can get back to being teammates after a punch like that. And then Trey Young added, Draymond is trying to get to L.A. Damn. Okay, so that's what players are saying on social media. Bringing it back to the desk here, though, with Richard Jefferson, what is your reaction to all of this? Uh, one, there is a way to go back to being teammates. Okay. Like, again, we watched in the last dance. I, I got into a fight with Kenyon Martin. He recently told that story when I was a rookie. You know, Steve Kerr and, and Michael Jordan. Like, there's ways to go back to being teammates. Like, mm. like that doesn't make it okay. 
Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but when I look at Draymond, we know about the incidences he's had with Steve Kerr. We know about what happened during the 2016 tournament run, our, our, our championship run. We know about what happened with Kevin Durant. This is who Draymond is. This is who he is. Mm. He will he will rile people up in opposing crowds, media. He will push his teammates to the brink. It doesn't make it acceptable, but this is who he is. This is what the Warriors have been trying to manage since the day that they drafted him. He's had a tremendous amount of success, mm. but ultimately, this is who Draymond is. There, no one in the league is surprised when I heard about the punch. This is what I was expecting. I was expecting, if Draymond got in trouble, that there was going to be a situation where Draymond escalated the situation and was the first person to throw a punch. The video doesn't surprise me because I've seen these types of practices, mm. but I think it surprises everyone else. When you're talking about a path forward back to being amicable teammates. What does that path look like to you? Man, this is this is about a job. We're here to win championships. We're here to make money. I'm not here to be your friend. Personally, I don't even care if we're like that close of teammates. As long as we win and as long as when I step between those lines, I can count on you. That is the number one thing that everyone cares about in basketball and in sports. You don't have to like the people that you work with. We've seen it happen. You know, we've seen Kobe and Shaq break up. We've seen so many things happen over the past, you know, 76 years of basketball that there is ways to come back. There is ways to move forward. Doesn't mean you're going to rock with somebody, but there is a way to move forward. It's just these things happen more. It happened mm. that in 2016 when we won a championship. There was an incident where there were punches thrown on our team. I'm not going to say between who, but that is something that happened. Well, and that's what Adrian Wojnarowski just pointed out to us, that when a video begins to circulate. That's circulate, the problem. Because we heard Bob Myers say yesterday that they plan to, to do this internally and to have any disciplinary action be handled internally. Internally, when a video becomes public, that's when more questions Ooh. start to swirl. And to answer some of those questions, I do want to bring in NBA writer for the ESPN's Anscape, Mark Spears. Mark, can you just take us behind the scenes within this team right now? What are you hearing about Draymond Green and Jordan Poole's teammates today? Well, I'm hearing that two players in particular are really working behind the scenes to kind of bring this team back together. And that's Andre Iguodala and probably to the surprise to a lot of people, Kevon Looney. You know, Iguodala is 38 years old, been in the league. This will be his 19th season. He's basically the Udonis Haslam of this team. He's publicly tweeted out about two, both Draymond and the pool, uh, showing support. But behind the scenes, he, he's working on getting this team back together. And then for Looney, uh, keep in mind that Looney and Poole are both from Milwaukee. They are very, very close. I know Looney's a quiet guy, but when he talks, people listen. So I'm, I'm hearing behind the scenes, Looney is really working to get everything straight with Jordan Poole with the Warriors as well. Okay, so that's the Warriors side of things. What reactions are you hearing from around the league to the video of Draymond <laughs> punching Poole? <laughs> uh, Richard probably will like this. I talked to a former uh, NBA head coach who definitely used to have uh, ties with the Warriors. And he's like, man, these things happen four to five times a year. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> they, they, they do. Also, or five times where it doesn't escalate to a fight. Mm -hmm. You know, what's unique in this is uh, unprecedented in this is that their video of it. When I when I covered the Denver Nuggets, I remember it's funny, Kenyon Martin, he's in every fight, right? Yeah. Kenyon Martin got in a fight with Nene. Steve Blake got in a fight with Nene. And there, there was a reason why they kicked us media out of the practices around 2005 because, you know, we started vlogging and soon later the camera phones came, so they didn't want us around. But I think uh, the coach said in all sports, it ain't just the NBA, there's a lot more of this than, than we will ever know. And one thing that I want to bring up, we saw it in, uh, I think it was preseason football with Aaron Donald, where he was swinging the helmet and it was like crazy and it was a practice, it was a practice between them and another team. And they were like, well, is the NBA, is, or is the NFL going to suspend? Are they going to take action? And it's like, you don't want the NFL or NBA to start dictating what's happening in practice. That's a dangerous game. The NBA doesn't want to do that. This is your team. You handle it. If your team crumbles and y'all lose money, that's on y'all. If y'all can put it together, that's fine but the NBA doesn't want to do this the same way that the NFL didn't want yeah. to come in and suspend Aaron Donald for swinging a helmet because now you're opening up Pandora's box of like we or can Michael Jordan uh, swinging, swinging at, Steve, at Kirk. Steve Kirk like you don't want 
teams to be having their own players suspended unless they choose that it's warranted. Mm. Well, what we know for right now is that the Golden State Warriors have already launched an investigation into how that video was made public. And we'll check in with our Kendra Andrews in just a little bit for more reporting on how this is reverberating within the Warriors organization. Mark Spears, thank you so much. Richard, hang tight because we still have a lot to come. An analysis of Victor Wenbanyama's oh, game wow. and what Giannis and KD Ooh. said about the all-world prospect. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> yes. oh. Oh my God. Plus more on Draymond Green and the